Okay, we have another episode of Pay Dirt. And it's really, really windy out here. And this wet sand is almost too uh, heavy for the screen. So it uh, blew the screen. It went right through. So. Got some shells here. This time I went to Cedar Key. Let's see what we got. Lots of shells. I put it up a bit higher, it's easier on my back. Let's see what we got. Well, if it was something good, it should stand out, right? <laughs> you know, like a ring or something. Hopefully not too long. But I can edit. and you get a lot of shells. a metal piece. Ah. Here's that nail or the piece I found earlier. I think it's a drill bit. No good jewelry or nothing yet. Not even 
even a measly penny. making videos of this unexcitement. You guys are gonna get bored, you're gonna be like, Susan finding nails. It's not very exciting. Good thing you don't have to pay for this. a drill bit or a nail. pretty much a bust. I got this stuff that's on the table here. Some big old God knows what. It's all encrusted. They get hurricanes over there and uh, stuff just falls apart, man. Gets torn up. I got this little thing. I don't know what the a rod and then this looks like it was some kind of strap for something it's already got an ant on it this dug down I dug down probably I don't know five or six inches with my PI which it'll go deep right it'll find metal yep okay But even if Cedar Key is a bust on metal detecting, it's a great place to visit. It's historic. It's beautiful. It's got good food. Second Street Cafe on Second Street. So it's worth a visit anyway, even if you don't get any good treasure. Found this kid's toy. This is probably the best thing I found. <laughs> found all day. Alright, let's see, what do we got? You know, I'd really love to see a nice gold ring in here. Hopefully one of these days my pay dirt's going to pay off. Whew, more clean rocks. Pretty rocks for decoration, pretty shells, but no painter. Nothing. Whatever. Time to go water my plants. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> I got another one of these books in the mail. In the wake of the Golden Galleons. And it says. Uh, it says. 
the true story of one man's willingness to risk diving in a sea infested with sharks and poisonous snakes in pursuit of Spanish gold. That's what that says. Tiny, tiny letters. Roy Volker and Do Dick Richmond. Yeah, I'd say you get out there and go for it. And then this one has some pictures. Yeah, a lady. And some, yeah, see, it's kind of worth it to get out there instead of sitting around at home doing nothing. Uh, some pictures. Oh, Spanish cobs and stuff. Roy Volker holds Spanish cobs, English gold sovereigns, a silver cross with rough diamonds, and a gold nugget. Treasure taken from several wrecks off the Florida coast. See, right when you think, oh man, it's all taken. Well, these guys certainly got their share. Ooh, got a shark too. And there's a, and a boat. A few good pictures. So this is my new, my new book that I just got today. All right.